Today we're going to be taking a look at an assault rifle that I haven't used in Modern Warfare Zombies in quite some time, and I really have to admit I wasn't the biggest fan of this thing when it launched, but I've heard that they've done a couple of tweaks to this assault rifle, so let's see if something has changed. We're taking a look at the BP-50 today, we're going to be doing a little bit of testing with this thing inside the red tier zone, and then we're also going to be going and doing the Season 2 Reloaded Elder Dark Ether. With that, welcome back to the channel everybody, if y'all don't know, my name is Ghost, appreciate everybody that stops by the video today, if you're into Zombies content, anything Call of Duty, rock the hell out of that like button for me, and subscribe to the channel guys, we just ended up hitting our massive goal of 20,000 subscribers and I cannot thank you guys enough for all the crazy support lately it truly does mean the world to me. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now this rifle may not be the absolute best of the best but it was definitely able to get the job done. We had a couple of struggles along the way but like I said we came out with some pretty damn good loot at the end. Now I can't wait to get into everything about this loadout and this run after a brief word from today's sponsor. If you guys want to unlock the new mark of the survivor camo or possibly even any of those get higher camos here in Modern Warfare 3 and you really just don't have the time to put in to get these challenges done well then be sure to check out Mitch Cactus. They're the biggest and most reliable sellers with heaps of brand new offerings for MW3 with completely safe and legitimate services for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. And with all the great reviews on Trustpilot, you guys should definitely check them out. Be sure to use code REALG for 5% off your entire order for a limited time only. Now one of the things that made me actually want to test this thing out today is I actually noticed that the BP-50 moved its way into the recommended guns category and I know that Sledgehammer actually does a really good job with this. I mean especially for the weapons in Zombies and when it comes to multiplayer. I don't know about War zone so much but typically if you see one of the weapons in there that has that little flame symbol next to it and it says that it's recommended usually those weapons do pretty well in zombies now unfortunately for the bp-50 whenever it launched i do remember trying it out and it just felt a little too mid i do gotta say it just really wasn't that great after trying it out today i do gotta say it does feel a little bit better the tier zone zombies are going down really quick like two or three shots the abominations aren't too terribly tough i mean maybe even if we had a better ammo mod that will actually kill these things a little bit faster like a uh, name palm burst or shatter blast i do gotta say as long as you come in here with either a legendary or an epic ether tool and you can pack a punch this thing up to level three you will be hanging out inside of the red tier zone comfortably now if you don't have the highest confidence with going against like hvts and stuff like that maybe stay away from those because this thing does take a little bit longer to uh, handle those guys but if you know what you're doing and you can stay on the rooftops and just kind of keep your movement and everything like that then you will have no, not too terribly hard of a time with this thing it just does take a little bit longer to kill these guys than some of the other weapons that i know kind of unfortunate for me because I really did pick the wrong ammo mod to rock during this uh, run because if I would have rocked something like either Napalm Burst or uh, Shatter Blast, definitely would have had a little bit of an easier time with some of the things that the game was throwing at me, like even with these Mega Abominations. And then when we finally decided to go on into the Dark Ether, my first, the HVT that I got in there, excuse me, ended up being a Mangler. If you guys know, Deadwire doesn't really do anything to these guys, so. And I did have a Jug on me too, and I could have just tossed down that Jug suit and dealt with this guy in literally almost a second. But I really decided to just be kind of stubborn and ride it out and kill this guy with the BP-50, which it did take me a little while, but we were eventually able to get the job done. It did take me a little bit to crack through that armor, like when I first started shooting at him, I thought, oh my god, I'm not doing any damage whatsoever. I eventually started hooking my thermites at him, and I was doing some decent damage in between the thermites burning on him and me shooting at him with the BP-50. I did run into a situation where I was kind of quartered into the wall, and I tried to pop my ether shroud, and it didn't really activate in time. I might even start rocking another other uh, field upgrade. Like, I love what Ether Shroud does, especially for me being a solo player, but there's just been too many times recently where this kind of stuff has been happening to me. This is why I always say you guys should carry at least an extra self-revive on you, because you never know what's going to happen. But we were able to get right up after this and finish this guy off easily enough. The Outlast contract was kind of where this BP-50 actually ended up surprising me a little bit, because I thought it was going to struggle in here, because we didn't really have anything to actually help us out. We had a couple cashmeres. That's really about it. I didn't have anything else. We did didn't have a sentry gun to put up in here. This AR actually handled it really well, like fending off all of the zombies and all the bosses that were coming in. My main gripe is just going to be with the ammo itself. I did find myself running out a couple of times and just kind of frantically running around trying to pick up ammo off the ground. But if you got the largest mag on here and with mag holding, you're going to be sitting on 495 rounds, which all in all is not very great. Especially for an AR like this. I mean, we have other guns in the game that are holding over a thousand rounds like the FR Advancer. But one thing that this AR kind of does have going for it is just the movement speed that it's got. Now, it even does have a conversion kit that makes the movement even better, but I think that kind of messes up a lot of the other aspects of the gun. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys like the BP-50 with the conversion kit. I did see a few comments telling me that I should try it with the kit. I just don't know. From what the stats say, it just seems like you would be so much better without it. Also, if you guys didn't know, we are finally getting the Black Ops 6 reveal gameplay trailer tomorrow, and I'm very excited to see that. Definitely going to be doing a full breakdown and reaction here on the channel tomorrow, so be be 
sure to stay tuned for that. Some of the things I'm kind of hoping that we get to see, like I hope they actually show us around the map a little bit. It's just not just a really quick like 30 second trailer. I'm hoping it's an actual kind of like they did with the cinematic trailer. I would love just a nice good two, three minute long like gameplay montage trailer with a nice song playing. I don't think that they're going to be showing both maps. I would just be happy with only seeing Terminus just as long as they kind of like show us around the map a little bit. Show us exactly what the zombies look like, you know, show us maybe some of the new enemy types that we're going to be getting. We get to hear some of the lines from the new crew like going back and forth. That would be cool. Maybe get a small glimpse at what our new perk is going to be doing. It'd be really awesome in the trailer if we see like some guy just punch one zombie and it ends up knocking back like 15 of them. I mean, hey, I can dream, but even if it's just like one hit up into like really high rounds, I mean, that would be cool too. I would take that. Eric has definitely got me hooked with the marketing and everything for Black Ops 6. I'm very excited for Black Ops 6 zombies. I think this is just going to be an absolute killer year for the zombies community. And you know what, guys? Even for the Modern Warfare 3 zombies community, it's not all doom and gloom for us. We do have Season 5 Reloaded just around the corner. You know, it's a little bit sad that the story is finally wrapping up and things are kind of coming to an end. But at the same time, I'm really excited for that too, just because I loved this story and I loved this game mode and I am excited to see how it ends up. Plus, the new Dark Ether actually sounds really cool too with like those launch pads and trying to stay off of the ground and stuff. Plus we know now that we're actually going to be getting a new like final boss. I mean hopefully it's actually something new like an actual new boss and not something that's been reused or like a you know electrified mega abomination which might be something that they might do which I really hope not. Now I honestly think it would be really cool if we ended up fighting like the entity itself but it ended up morphing into like some really big monster or something. I am definitely excited also to get my hands on some new schematics just kind of something else for us to grind for to be perfectly fair though i am right there with you guys i do honestly agree that there was so much wasted potential that this game mode honestly had and i really did think the same thing with outbreak when that launched and i kind of thought that was just kind of left to die as well but from what i can tell is that treyarch actually really took what they learned from outbreak and built upon that and then gave us modern warfare zombies which from what i can tell from the community was actually liked a little bit more than outbreak now while yes this is definitely the year for round based zombies to shine maybe treyarch has a little bit of something up their sleeve for the open world zombies fans just to kind of hold us over throughout this year that eventually in the future they're really going to take what they learned from modern warfare zombies and from outbreak and then attempt it again and actually give us something that is absolutely incredible in my own personal experience i think that modern warfare zombies is the best third mode that modern warfare has ever had and i think that they would be stupid not to continue it in the future which little spoiler alert from what i've been hearing behind the scenes it's probably going to come back in the future. Anyways, I appreciate everybody that took the time out to watch the video. We were able to get through this Dark Ether. We had a couple of slip-ups, but I mean, hey, this BP-50 definitely did get the job done. Loadout's gonna be up on the screen right here. Thank you all again. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next one.